let us start with enums in TypeScript. So I have created this 12th one, so cd into 12th, and we will do that if we need the npm run. But for now, why we need the enums? That's an important question. So I can write as enum type. So suppose in an application, you have used some string values. So suppose you want to compare the name with a string value. So name Sarthak and another, let's say John. Now, after some time, you realize that, hey, this is not with a capital S, it should be with a small s and a small j. Now, anywhere you have used the Sarthak string, you have to change everywhere. Okay, that's a really big issue. How you can do that? So you can create a constant of, uh, let's say, Sarthak, which having the value of Sarthak. And then you can just compare with the constant you have created and similar for the John. But then comes an issue. You have to create lots of, uh, uh, you, you can say the names or the constant and also you have to remember everyone. Now things will be very easy just like an array where you can pack everything in a single name or single variable. So that's how enum comes into the play. And you need to know that JavaScript doesn't support the enum. Okay, this is actually the pure TypeScript thing. So suppose I'm going to create a enum. How we can create a enum? It's very easy. You need to use the enum keyword. And after that, the name of the enum you want to say. So I say week days. Okay. Now, after this, I want to give the name of each weekday. And that's it. So I can say Monday. Then with a comma, I can say Tuesday and similar to others. And the most important thing here, you, you notice that I have not used it as a string. It's just a simple word without any string. So what we can call it, actually, this is the element or the value for each of these weekdays in the enum. Now, let's log this and see what we are getting when we just log this weekdays. So if I go here, we need to start the, we already have, I don't know. So let's start this and go into 12th one and run the node thing. Okay, so you saw it's uh, similar, but little different. What happened here? JavaScript doesn't support enum. So TypeScript made some unique thing to create the system which represent enum thing. So we will see this later and we will understand this later. But for now, I'm just going to log and I say weekdays and suppose I want the Sunday. And you can see the power of enum, we are getting the autocomplete. And this is happening because we have the enum. This will not be possible with the constant, just a single constant you can create. And that's super easy. And if I run this, amazing thing going to happen. You see, we are getting six. Why? Because the Sunday is at the sixth position. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is just similar to the array thing. That means if we want, we can also get, I want the first element of this enum. What should be that? Wow, it's a Monday. So if I want the sixth one, it should be, or it must be actually Sunday. Cool. So we are getting from the actual literal num name and we also can get from the index value. Now, remember I explained you or in this log that this TypeScript is actually uh, creating some magical thing behind the scene. So maybe we can see in the index.js that enum we have created is now converted to a variable called weekdays, which is having a function which is directly called self-calling function. And then we have a weekdays 
it's a little complex but just to give you the idea weekdays is having this value which is having monday and some different different things and we can understand that easily by running this so when we log all the enum we are not getting the kind of enum thing because javascript doesn't support enum we are getting something like this is an object with some values or key and the values to so key and the values key and the values similarly key and the values so here things to notice is that when we said that we need the weekdays dot sunday it will go here and find the sunday and give us six when we say give me weekdays of sixth so it will go here and give us sunday and that's how actually enum work which is really really powerful and the great thing in typescript now very important thing to notice here is that if we once again run maybe we can run this one actually if we oops, <laughs> if we run it we can see it start with zero but sometimes you don't want that and the best thing about enum is that you can just tell to enum that hey enum i actually want this to start with one not with zero and you don't have to write it like two and three and etc etc you just initialize it at the starting and then enum or the or the typescript will do its magic so when we do this now you can see it is start with one two and goes till seven and same here monday is one and two and seven this is really helpful when you explicitly want to define the starting of any enum you can say number index thing <laughs> so this one is actually called the type of this enum is called a numeric enum because the numeric is the index thing but sometime you also want to give the value a different thing so if i say hey this monday is actually m o n but when you define something like this enum doesn't know that what we have to do for others in the key, in case of num in case of numeric enums typescript know that hey uh, if you have a one we just need to increment it but in case of a string it doesn't know so in that case you have to define the define the value for each of these uh, enum value so something like uh, this so fry and i can say sat and finally sun okay now you can see there is no complaint from the typescript and if i run it once again we can see we just have this time not a dual thing we just have one single which is saying single object which is saying monday and this uh, this comparison okay so what if i try to get the monday or maybe sunday so we should get you can see sun because we have defined sunday as sun and uh, what if we want to get the sixth one this is going to be interesting you can see it's in undefined because we don't have any numeric index for this enum this means we need to actually say give me the real thing for sun is this going to work no because we don't have that relationship we have only one relationship which is key and the value so make sure when you create this type of enum which is called a string enum you have only one way to access it from the actual key okay then you will say that hey uh let's get back to the previous numeric one so this is the first one but what if i want to give sunday as the zero so i start with one but i want to give sunday as zero and if i do this you can see it's not even complaining but it is start with zero that's fair that's easy to understand but what if i have something where i want to compute and then uh, give the value and compute with the previous value so this is going to be interesting because now what we are going to do we are going to learn about the uh, what's that computed enum yep 
So what will be the case? I want this weekdays so weekdays dot monday and minus one okay so i said that whatever will be the value of monday whether it is zero whether it is one just decrement it by one and make sure here we are calling the same enum so enum is calling itself and then if we check it you can see sunday is zero and uh, Monday is 1. If I say it's 0, it should go to minus 1. So Sunday is included here at the last with the value of minus 1. This is so interesting in the enum that you have full power of computing, giving a string, giving numbers and that's why the type script is so great that you can uh, go beyond the limits of java script that's really really amazing to see if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to bitfumes youtube channel follow bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye